I'm here today in Griswold at Cooley's Tap House, located on the lovely grounds of River Ridge Golf Course. Open year-round, Cooley's Tap House features a craft kitchen with an amazing chef, fresh local beers on tap, and a lot of other surprises. When we do things at Thule's, we try to take what is common to people and then we add something that's a little uncommon. Delicious. Thank you. Join me as I explore all that Thule's has to offer. Hey Alika, how are you? I'm great Calvin, what are you going to make for us today? So today we're going to do a, a riff on macaroni and cheese, so we're doing our smoky lobster fusiloni jerry macaroni and cheese. Jerry, so where'd the jerry come from? So the jerry is from an episode of Seinfeld where Kramer made a statuette out of jerry with fusilli. Ah. We're going to use fusiloni, which is a larger version of fusilli. Alright, let's go. Cool. The heavy cream. Uh, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Grated Parmesan Romano blend, about a half a cup. So we have some saffron stained fusiloni. So what we do with the fusiloni is we cook it in water that's had saffron put into it. Okay. And then that yellow color from the saffron transposes into the pasta. Makes it a nice, wonderful yellow, makes it fun. Bacon. The gouda's coming next. Then a little cheddar jack. So the lobster we just fold in because we don't want to it's been blanched, so we don't want to overcook it. And then we top it with a mixture of saltines, butter, garlic, and dill. I can't wait, Calvin. Oh, no, it looks oh. good. <laughs> so this is our smoky lobster fusiloni jerry. I love it. Julie's Tap House is billed as a craft kitchen. What's a craft kitchen, Calvin? We try to uh, practice the, the artistic part of, of food. So I, I have like an obsession with uh, food pop culture. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, things like Pop-Tarts. They have a place in our you know, society as far as food goes. So when we do things at Thule's, we try to take what is common to people and then we add something that's a little uncommon. And so we, we you know, and oh, that's crafty. And so, you know, obviously that's what we try to do here is make it fun and make it different, uh, but approachable. You're also a tap house. Mario, tell me about all the different beers you have on tap. Taps are dedicated to the, the small business, like what well, we are, a small business. So we love to support as many local people as we can. So I spend probably two to three hours every Tuesday going through all the lists to try to make sure I can create this beer list that people uh, are going to like and enjoy and, and something new for them that they're not going to get anywhere else. Secret menu. Tell us about, oh, tell us about the secret menu. So we take an item and I'll post it on Facebook and I'll say that this is on the secret menu. Mm -hmm. So the only place it appears is on Facebook. Okay. So if you see it on Facebook, you come in and you'll say, I'll have the apple doesn't fall far from the chicken. So nowhere does it appear on our menus or anything. And then the servers are briefed that, ah, that's from the secret menu item. And then these things will continue until we put a stop to them. So like one thing that has been ongoing on the secret menu is the cheesesteak spring rolls. So they don't appear on our menu. So, and then these will pop up periodically and as we do secret menus we're also doing tests for new menu items so we just you know obviously it has twofold but it's it's fun to have a secret menu so here's our wine flight and here's our beer flight looks so good josh the real question is where do i start i would start with the wine okay um should i start with merlot or chardonnay chardonnay all right Delicious. Thank you. 
Well, I had a lot of fun at Thule's Tap House with Mario, Chef Calvin, and the rest of the crew. The craft kitchen and the local beers and, oh, shh, the secret menu. Make Thule's the place to be. Well, that's my perspective. Hey, Connecticut, what's your perspective? Thule's Tap House in Griswold.